were the major early influences that shaped Coolidge, the person, and of course, later the president? I think um, the classics, and you would know better than I, you know, what he thought of Mark Aurel, of Marcus Aurelius, or, but he did, uh, he did learn Latin and you can see it in his prose. He moves words around, he's used to inflected languages. He will move words around in a sentence easily, the way modern Americans can't handle. But anyone who's studied an inflected language um, isn't bothered by words being reordered in a sentence because the word carries the meaning, you know, the little endings. Um, also the framers, he was very much influenced by the framers. In this book, he talks about reading the constitution as a boy. I, I would say being, he kind of grew up in a Tocqueville town, a, to a New England Tocqueville village with town meeting, the whole, the whole um, thing you imagine from Norman Rockwell the, of the town meeting and the man getting up, making a point and every man having his say uh, every citizen having his say that was Coolidge's boyhood. He sold uh, apples or popcorn at the town meeting, um, which was over his father's store. Uh, and then uh, you can't leave out faith. Um, the Coolidge's lived in such a small community. They didn't have a minister. They were largely Protestants, largely northern baptists and congregationalists it was kind of a culture in that area of default congregationalism in new england plymouth notch vermont um but his his grandmother taught sunday school and she had a big say in raising calvin coolidge because his his mother died when he was uh young and grandmother stepped in and uh it, this church was interesting because without a minister it kind of ran itself in that sense. It was a little bit more like a Jewish community. It didn't have a fiery, charismatic rabbi or preacher, and everyone just just um, jumped when when the rabbi or the or the minister spoke. It was more or less run by the laity, uh, and there was some vacillation there. It was their church, not their a minister's church, and I think they kind of liked it that way though uh, economy was an issue too. They, I don't think Plymouth Notch, his town, which is in a part of Vermont that pretends to be arable, but isn't. Um, and uh, that could, could have well afforded the kind of pay ministers got. Remember, Coolidge was born in 1872. There was no radio, there was no TV. Who is your superstar? It's your minister. Who is your charismatic speaker? Often it's the minister who, you know, so they were like TV stars, the successful ministers in that time. They probably couldn't afford it that either. That's what he grew up with. And when you read his prose, it is homiletic. It's like, a, it, it's like prose from a good sermon. 